Hey, what's going on today, guys? Video service information here. Today we're looking at a 2015 Chevy Silverado. And the customer was complaining about a delay in engagement from transmission at first cold start. We got the vehicle up in the air and we noticed the transmission had been leaking transmission fluid out of the front pump area. And on a separate situation from the transmission, we found the engine oil cooler lines leaking at the crimps. Um, as far as the delay in reverse, uh, we did verify the delay in reverse with the truck sit overnight, roughly 10 hours or so. It was a cold morning and it probably had like a 15 second delay in reverse. This is a 6.2 engine and a, an older Silverado, so it's got the 8L90 transmission in it, the 8 speed. There is various different bulletins on delay in reverse one is the 16 na 364 and then the 16 na 014 basically the descriptions are basically about the same this is delay engagement after sitting when the engine off on both the 364 bulletin tells you to take it apart inspect c3 and c5 clutches Look at the seals. If nothing found, then replace the transmission. The very small difference in these in this situation is the input speed is equal to engine RPM in two seconds or less. And if it's over two seconds, then you want to refer to that bulletin of 16NA04. That one is for the replacement of the stator shaft support which would be basically your pump pump plate on that one. On this particular truck here, we had a delay of like 10 to 15 seconds, so we're over the two-second threshold. Basically on that one, they want you to follow the 16NA014, which is replacing that uh, stator plate. It has a second check valve in it, so it has a less opportunity to bleed back when the vehicle is sitting overnight. You can see it in the photo here. Well, you might say that the delay in reverse could be from the transmission leak and the transmission could be low on fluid, but we did check the transmission fluid level and it was full, so the leak is not substantial enough to lose that amount of oil. We do suspect that the transmission pump seal is leaking. That's what's causing the fluid to leak out, so it's a perfect, perfect time anyway since we're going to have that stator plate removed and install a new seal and everything all at the same time would be the recommendation. As far as the engine oil cooler lines where they're leaking at the crimps, I'm going to recommend to the customer that they have the lines replaced. I'm going to have some upcoming videos on some other 8-speed issues with the uh, 8L90 GM transmission. Talk about torque converter shutter and delayed shifts. Appreciate you guys watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I put up new videos. Thanks a lot and have a great day.